Hi, my name is Carl, and I'm an electrical engineer at Fort Atlantic University. My name is Deborah. I'm also an electrical engineer here at FAU. Nice to meet both of you. Okay. I have a few questions to ask you. Um, first of all, I would like to ask you, why did you pick this major? Me? Okay. Um, <laughs> I picked electrical engineering because it has a really strong background in math, and that was always my favorite subject. Um, also, there's a lot of potential, a lot of opportunity. Um, it's super challenging, and the reward at the end of it is going to be worth it. What do you eventually want to do? Oh, yeah. Um, well, honestly, I want to go to Mars. I think that would be a really big accomplishment, and that's always been something I love to do uh, or envision myself doing. I know the space program is kind of, you know, wavering right now, but eventually when we get it back going, I'd love to go there. So. All right, awesome. Uh, what type of courses, learning experiences are there within this major? Um, the majority of the courses all stem from math and science, so physics very important. Um, there's circuits and electronics and you learn from the littlest component to big designing of systems. Um, there's a lot of courses that involve projects, hands-on experience in lab, um, and a lot of a lot of just like concepts, science concepts really. Right. Uh, my next question is what is your favorite part of being in this major? Um, favorite part would be the feeling of accomplishment that you get after, you know, doing an all-nighter before an exam or before a project or homework you have to turn in. And uh, just getting to work with, like, fellow engineers that are your buddies. You're all struggling together, but, you know, somehow you guys find a way to get it done and get the grade. Uh, so really that feeling of accomplishment after completing something so challenging. All right. Um, what, what would you say would be the hardest part about pursuing this major? Um, the workload. <laughs> it's a lot. The classes are pretty stressful. The concepts are, are difficult. Um, certainly as you go on they increase in difficulty. So knowing how to focus um, and manage your time and really just get your head into the subject and get everything complete, uh, I think is the hardest part, just keeping, keeping yourself on track. What, what do you wish uh, someone would have told you before going into this major? Um, well, I mean, I heard a lot of different things about how difficult it was going to be. But the time management is probably the hardest thing you have to figure out. Because when you first like start your first class, whether it's like chemistry one or physics one, it's all about you know how much time does that course need, how much time do you need to devote to it. and. Um, as you go along, you figure it out, but nobody can really give you that advice or tell you. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself. The next question I have um, is uh, the final question. Uh, what advice would you give younger students related to, to going into this major? Um, well, kind of feeding off what he said, I definitely would be organized, be have a good study habit now because it's only going to get, you know, the studying is only going to increase and it's going to get harder. So having good habits, uh, learning as much as you can before you get here as far as math and science and even just technology, just looking into what you're going to learn, having some idea of what's going to be expected of you would be very helpful. Uh, and, uh, and also uh, get involved in some sort of engineering organization, whether it's, you know, a Tau Beta Pi or, you know, an IEEE, anything. Um, to find a support group to really help you out because, you know, students who are more along the graduated path than you can give you those pointers and they know professors that can help you out and uh, don't be afraid to ask questions and don't give up. Yeah, getting help is important. <laughs> All right, thanks guys.